Welcome. This video is going to be about Article Linux B. We have already built lots of minimal uh, desktops, but you know that we have 11 desktops 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, as of such, and we're developing Qtile and Xmonad as we speak. But the thing is, um, people still don't know that we have, um, well, 20 ISOs at this point in time. But you can build it yourself. So there's the Article Linux ISO with XFCE Openbox i3. There is the bare one with no desktop at all, black screen, terminal, scripts. But you can build it as well. So I'm going to make now a new one. I'm going to make Deeping Minimal. So how do you do that? You can do that too. Just follow a few tutorials of mine and you'll be up and running in no time, just having the desktop you want, just having the software you want. So uh, remark, I don't know where it was from, but um, it's so bloated. Well, that's the past, really, because you just decide what you install. This is what they call a bloated ISO, but this contains all the information applications that I need, that I want to have on my ISO. So that's two gigabytes or something, right? This is one gigabyte, very, very minimal, but it's the terminal, so we need to be uh, already a little bit versed in, in scripting and, and running uh, working in a terminal and this one is actually quite easy it means you have need to edit a file know that uh, where your hashtag is on your keyboard and put out delete hashtag or add an hashtag to include an application on the ISO on your uh, personal built ISO of Arc Linux that's why we say the B for build but there are also minimal ones in in which we the reason was there to learn you what elements are important to keep on. So if you do a difference, a melt as an application, if you melt between awesome and awesome minimal, you'll see what applications you really need on the ISO to be have a working one because people will start experimenting, which is great, and they ask questions on the forum. So if you are going to delete the essential applications it won't boot or you get errors or stuff like that. So that's also a way to figure out which Lego blocks do we need to have a functional Arch Linux system. Okay. Okay. So Arch Linux B, I've done already some things. I've done um, created four uh, GitHubs 20 minutes ago, it seems. And we're going to create Arch Linux Deeping uh, Minimal, which is the easiest one in the sense that deeping comes with a lot of uh, well packages and software included. So it's a full-fledged um, desktop. It's in here, Arcman is B. I have uh, deeping minimal ready. Uh, I've just copy pasted it over. That's all I did. I just copy pasted Arco deeping. So copy paste and it's in here. We could compare. It's super. You should know the application melt. In the README, it says we're going to create minimal. That's the difference in the word here. And, and the GitHub is called minimal. And that's it. So that's the difference here. And here we have also a difference. Here it's called deeping. And here's deeping dash min. That's it, basically. So I haven't done anything really until now. And now we're going to check out what packages we have, the differences in packages. So if you want to have a new ISO, your ISO, personally built, you need to do the same thing, more or less. And you can compare also three. This can be Eric, uh, sorry, Arco Deeping. This is Arco Deeping Minimal. And then you make an Arco Deeping Eric, for instance, right? And you have three things to compare with. And then you say, okay, and let's compare all these packages files here. That's the thing we need to compare. Now, these guys are the same. So I need to show, of, of, um, I need to, to be as efficient as possible, as fast as possible to develop. And the thing is, I've already made my reasoning what I put in a minimal or what I don't put in a minimal. Okay. So any of these go, if I compare these two, these are minimal or plasma, but plasma is a bit specific. So comparing with the right desktop is now um, important. Right, so I think best for, thing for me to do is compare XFCE minimal with deeping minimal, and then you compare. 
and then you start working with this melting this, this application melt super thing you can set some preferences it's worth to check out and maybe show line numbers or something like that if you go to the packages because this one is just saying okay this is deeping this is xfc so now we have to remember to the left is the one that i'm making and to the right i should not touch it right it's xfc okay we're going to compare xfc uh, the packages and then you have to ask yourself in xfc i put two nor in do i want to not throw nor in for article tipping if you really want to keep everything clean maybe we shouldn't right but you'll see later on that we need to nor for the the iso but let's keep it here out of it printer support a little bit less printer support in a minimal version atom do we want atom yes or no in deeping okay i've made the decisions for all the minimal ones in my eyes okay what's the minimal that's less software right you install whatever um, editor you want so atom is out this happens when you click on here it just copies it over to the left this means that chromium will not be installed on my aqua deeping minimal nor will that be d menu firefox etc 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 so let's go over it gm run is a good question should i use it i probably not um thinking is there any keyboard shortcut don't think so so we could do that out as well but then you see of course the difference so i rather have um, exactly the same in all the minimals so inkscape is out you're not going to design anything praga is not your music player nor videos no torrents and all that this is all for the conkeys so some of the conkeys will not work because of that not all some no fonts no terminus no fonts no fonts no arc icon team, no GNOME icon team. GTK engine murine is out, which is good. Leave it out. Okay. Adapter is out. That's good. Right. This one is out. Okay. Fine. Glances. Don't need GNOME gearing and GNOME screenshots. Yes, you can put it out as well. There is a screenshot there. GPIC, GTOP, HTOP, GRSync, Nomax, Plank. Do we need Plank or not? It's a personal thing, you know. Um, so I've decided in XFC minimal. Okay, no Plank. Okay, then there's no Plank. QT5CT, do we need it here? I decided not to do it in deeping. So let's leave it out. PowerTop is out, Rofi is out, and these two as well. So sometimes you just don't can't click, you need to go over here, otherwise Rofi or Rofi is better. <laughs> would go um, would be installed. So the hashtag would be gone. Speed test is gone. Transmission PN stats ZSH is gone. So that's how you decide to investigate. And you can investigate later maybe with open box minimal and then also minimal bsp minimal and decide okay this is what we gonna need so we were here so in this sense i say just one cursor and that's this white one here x cursor breeze and all the rest of the cursors i don't want no font no icon themes except sardi no surf and sapphire do you need bf before b43 firmware okay you decide if you need it if you have that hardware for a wireless card out out this is needs to be out that's okay this is something for xfc or well the use you can use in xfc minstick stays in mugshot is xfc all over and oh my zsh can go since we don't have zsh installed Peak and all that is out. Temps and Tlux is out, and these guys are out too. So mugshot right as XFC, that's the XFC, we don't need it. A lot of things have come out already. Let's go on. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. I think you best trust us 
what elements we do need and what elements we don't need. So it has been decided already for Deeping that we don't need these applications, arc themes. If you do want to know, there's one great solution. Just go in PEMAC, go in repositories, go in Article Linux repo and start looking. What is in here? This is in here, right? These are the things that we need on XFCE, so we don't need it in Deeping. So it's an, a lot of thinking that's behind it, but you just trust what says here. Deeping has its own greeter. You notice the green thing, that the sound comes on. So, okay. Since we did not install Plank, we don't need the Plank themes, right? So this one is out. That's correct. Rofi, we've decided not to use Rofi, so no Rofi config and no Rofi themes. Slim is not needed, that's correct. And we don't want XFC since we're installing Deeping. And then we get a lot of things for... Uh, here we get this Thunar, so we need Thunar for our live environment and later on we'll use it anyway. Why? Because it's so great to have all these things here. Search and compare, open folder as root, ownership to root. These things will miss out. We'll, we'll not have them on another um, file manager and it's workflow super for it, right? So we need XFC panel, XFC session. Why? Because we have a delivery system in the ISO. We say let's use and reuse the same code of Arc Linux, right? Use XFC to deliver you deeping or you boot up got deeping. It's a lot, a lot less maintenance to do it this way than develop for every desktop a live DVD with that desktop. That would be devastating in, in time. It would be very educational, but it would be unmanageable. So Restretto is out. A lot of things are out. That's fine because we're not installing XFCE. So rather than saying XFC4 and XFC4 goodies, we went into the details of things. So we can really pinpoint that package, that package, that package. Sometimes we get other packages as well because of dependencies, but of course, that's something we can't really do anything about. So here we get Calamares, then we get XFC, which sounds good, and some specific stuff. Basically, we're done. So, <clears throat> first save, then I have not done that, I think. And then you recheck, so maybe let me pause and recheck here. All right, so I'm back at the top. I guess this is it. The only thing you need to do is run it. So, Arco Deeping Minimal uh, can be pushed to the GitHub. That's for one. So I suggest you read up um, about creating your own GitHub, because it's so easy to have all your data online. One, it's a backup. Two, when you restart or clean up, do a clean install and all that, it's easy to get your stuff back. So Git clone, it's there in your system. And you can git push it back if you, you change something. So having your, what they call, dot files on some uh, place, some server, just does not need to be GitHub there names like uh, Bitbucket and GitLabs and there are others. <clears throat> Even SourceForge, you can put uh, a Git on there. So it really doesn't matter. As long as you have some kind of backup, it's, it's, it's not that difficult. I have tutorials about that. The only thing you need is basically a few scripts that you set up your GitHub and then you push whatever you have to the net or you pull whatever you have and that this, this little thing does that. So I'm, I'm going to try it out. So what I'm going to do is going to put it like this. Why? Because it's, uh, well, my way of doing it, of knowing, hey, I'm building something. Because in the meantime, I'll probably be probably doing something else. And then I know, okay, I'm, I'm supposed to look at an ISO here. So you have this build the ISO local version 3. And we're going to completely install, but maybe... I'll cut the video here and install it uh, in the next video. All right? Cheers.